What's going on, everybody? Welcome back. We are back with another update on the Kinky Cheryl car and the build. So, as you can tell, the inside has been fully painted. I have the, uh, well, I guess I have the refrigerator door painted. Uh, I realized my mistake was able to fix it. I don't know if y'all can see that, but there is fillers in right here and a couple right over here. So all this is now squared up and flat. My mistake was when I cut this piece, I actually cut it smaller originally than this by accident because I was going to fiberglass the roof. And yeah, yeah, I realized that wasn't going to work so well. Uh, so I got to go get another piece of wood, cut it, and shape it. Not a big deal. Won't take that long. Probably took me about an hour to do it. So I just got to find me a Menards or a uh, Hobby Lobby and go get me a piece of wood. No big deal. And I've got some LEDs I'm going to pick up to go on the inside uh, to light up the car. I'm going to run a tether from up underneath going to the other car so this car is separate with a little micro plug. And starting the second one, this is a full 20 and a half inches long. Uh, this car, again, as I get, through, get down to it, and uh, once I bring this down to height, uh, then I'll start working on interior, the next roof, um, yeah, lighting, and then I'll start the third car body. Uh, I'm not too sure what how it all interior put in this one because this one's probably going to be the lounge car. So I'm probably going to wind up constructing a lot of like uh, chairs. Who knows? Maybe I'll say I can find you know if I can find me a hobby shop something like that. So there's this one. I've also ordered the wheel sets for these. They are a die cast metal wheel set. I was able, lucky enough to find a supplier on eBay that had them called uh, Kiel O Scale. Uh, K E I L O Scale. And um, they were almost prototypical, a little bit of a modification. Be just fine. You have to assemble them yourself and drill the holes out from the axles. So we're good there. The Lionel wheel sets will go in. Uh, and then of course paint and then detail the underside of the exhaust as well. Uh, yeah, so we're almost ready to paint on the kitchen car other than I have to redo the roof and get this one going and hopefully we can do that while I'm in Michigan and hopefully my, my step stepdad has his has a belt sander or otherwise, I'm just going to go back old school and do it hand all the way. Because that's what I was doing before. And it worked out good, so why not? Keep doing what you're doing, right? Um, and then we're also going to be doing the kit bash. We're going to start the kit bash on the one of building a modern day take on the Hutch caboose. Which was a boxcar caboose combo. So that's what... That's what's going on, and I've also got a video on the natural weathering of 027 gauge track, which I got a plan for that, and we'll get into that one later. As always, keep the shiny side up, rubber down. I'll see you on the road. Good night.